Hello, veteran 012 in here. Welcome back. This is another episode of Dragon Quest 11. In the last episode, I got through Jade's story, and then I did the entirety of Eric's story in like, shit, what was it, like fucking 20 minutes or something like that? No, no, it wasn't that fast. It was more like a little less than 40 minutes, I think. Probably because my Eric is pretty overpowered. So yeah, Eric, that's how Eric lost his memory. The seer uh, gave him a burst of power for a short amount of time, and the price for that was uh, his memories. Which explains why he lost his memory, which is a hell of a lot better than mm. just in the original version of the game where he just lost his memory for no reason. <laughs> and it didn't make any sense. So you kind of had to fill in the blanks, but for something like that, it's kind of hard to fill in the blanks. How did I get here? I can't remember a thing. Oh! <gasps> Whoa. <laughs> Jinx! Uh, is that... No, it can't be! <gasps> it is! It's her! Fresh from the pages of the Ogler's Digest, and large as life! <laughs> I have neither the first clue what's going on around these parts. But I reckon I could do worse than ask a lassie here. Well, Rab, what are you waiting for? Shall no hang around forever while you pluck up what little courage you have left? Yoo-hoo! Hey, have you a moment to spare for a sweet, harmless old man, then? <sighs> Whoa, whoa, now she's running away? Come back! Uh, mm, hey? What just happened? <laughs> Come on! <laughs> Grandpa's having some weird dreams, apparently. <sighs> this can he be? But, but it is. It's Dundrasil, just as it once was. <laughs> Looking sharp, Your Majesty. Eh? <gasps> Hello. Let me guess, this is the seer as well, right? <laughs> My old robes, but, but how, what in the world's going on? Would you care to enlighten me, lassie? <laughs> Walk this way. Walk this way, da da da, talk this way, da da da. Okay, now they're playing Dragon Quest V music. Okay, throne room. Sure, we'll go there eventually. Why, oh, certainly, kid.
Dude, I'm the king, man. This guard is telling me I can't go that way. That makes no sense. Whatever. <clears throat> Wait, what's this guy saying? Yeah, you don't need to tell me where to go. I know where to go. <laughs> Let me guess, you're going to tell me I can't go down this way either, right? Snack hunts? I guess Rab likes to sneak down to the kitchens. Tear strips off you. Wow, that sounds very, very unpleasant. Strips of skin? Clothing? Hopefully it's just clothing. That sounds terrible, man. Gentlemen's literature? <laughs> The maids won't be throwing it away on my <laughs> Oh shit. Yeah. Women do that. Kinda like my mom with my porno mags underneath my mattress. She said, what the fuck are you doing going under my mattress anyways? Even still, what makes you think that you got the right to throw my fucking magazines out? <laughs> Damn it. Ah yes, the perils of being a teenage boy and having to hide your porno mags from your mom so she doesn't throw them away. In Rab's case, the maids. get you somewhere with the queen not but not with me oh I gotta like sit on can I sit on the queen's throne oh my bad <laughs> You were well, father. Eleanor, Erwin, it, it really is you, and and you're young again. What's going on? Uh, Your Majesty, please forgive my insolence in seeking a personal audience with you today. I come before you not as the head of the princess's honor guard, but as my own man. Well, I mean, um, very well. State your business. Uh, well, uh, you see, the, uh, 
the, the, the thing is, I, uh, uh, I wish to ask for your daughter's hand in marriage. Erwin. And though I am but a soldier, and all too aware of my own lowly position, nevertheless, I must persist. For there is one thing of which I am certain. My sword arm is steadfast, and my heart unwavering. There is no man alive who will love, honor, and protect your daughter as I can. Oh. Your Majesty, I place my fate in your hands. Will you allow me to continue to serve and protect your daughter? Not as the head of her honor guard, but as her dutiful and loving husband. What happens if you say no? Uh... I guess I'll... Man, I can't say no to this guy. <laughs> I'm sure it's a butt down must anyways, right? After that little performance. Come on, laddie. And to tell you the truth, I always had an inkling you two might one day be wed. Oh, father. It's up to you now, Erwin. Don't disappoint me. You hear? Thank you, Your Majesty. Thank you. Spring from Lassie, and where's everybody gone? <laughs> Did you enjoy your little trip down memory lane? Well, it's not over yet. Okay. go somewhere. Looks like we can go over here now. We couldn't before, right? <laughs> I think it's hilarious that they actually have Rab jumping up to grab that thing. I figured he would just stand on his tippy toes. Pot of pepper. Yeah. Hmm. Oh, Sage's elixir. That's kind of nice, I guess.
I was wondering if I might see your way to reply to Uh, yeah. Well, if I say no, you're just gonna hound me until I say yes, right? Chief Minister will be on hand to help me? Oh, you're telling me what I did during my, my reign. Okay. Thanks, Erwin. <laughs> yeah. Because you gotta tell the player this, because the player wouldn't know, obviously, right? Children, yay. As long as I don't have to change the diapers, I'm good. Let's see what the Chancellor guy has to say. Oh, wait, no, I don't want. Wait, maybe I should talk to him. Not just yet. There's a little spot by the fountain. Okay. Two about a thing or two. <laughs> yeah, that's a nice way of wording it. So you're gonna ask me some questions? Sure. Oh, true or false? Shit. Hope I can get these right. True or false, you, Lord Robert, are in fact the youngest of three but What? I don't know this. True. Wow, that's lucky. The purple orb? Oh fuck man, I I can't I can't remember if the pur I can't remember. I'll say false for this one. Yeah, alright. Ten Brazilian shillings? Uh... True? Wow, that's lucky. He hasn't? Oh. Well, you tricked me, man, because in my timeline, he does have a son. What? Fuck. 
Okay, so we're at the final question, so hopefully I can get this one right. True or false, in addition to the four great kingdoms that make up Urgia, there was once a fifth. That is absolutely true, and that is... Oh, wait, no. No. Because Dundrasil is still here, so it's false. What? What? Oh, fuck me, man. I don't... Maybe it's... Maybe it was four, and then when Dundersil fell, it was three? I don't fucking remember, all right? Leave me alone. <laughs> I'll get them all this time, though. That's true. That's false. That's true. That is false in this timeline. And yeah, I tried to answer this question, like, the fourth. And we get to see the magic. Hey, thanks. Cool. Look at that, man. See the magic. I'm gonna get plenty more of those later. Plenty more of those later. Dude, I'm the king. What private meeting? Why are there private meetings going on in my kingdom? <laughs> right? I mean, why isn't Rab asking these questions? Polished? Oh, my bad. Yeah. That's better than telling me I can't go when I'm the king. <laughs> can fight on an empty stomach, it's just not very nice to fight on an empty stomach. I mean, you can do it. I mean, just ask those freaking, those, uh, those special forces guys, man. A lot of the training that they go through is predicated on, the, on you being, like, freaking famished. You want me to help you? So we need something instead of pepper. Some of the plants around the castle? Alright. What? So, you're telling me to search everywhere for this condiment that you want? 
Oh, you're the girl that dropped the pepper pot. That's all the pepper in the kingdom? Man. You gotta be kidding me. One pepper pot in the entire kingdom. Still, still busy, man. Oh wait, what's this? What's that? Choose this or something else. Okay, that's another thing we can use. Finer food than a peach pie decorated with a picture of a lovely wee pie. <laughs> uh, no, not yet. What else do we have? Is there anything else? That's Three things there, pie, some weird plant in there, and then another weird plant downstairs. Does it matter? Yeah, I got that. Is anything else? No, oh, maybe I should go with the, uh... <laughs> maybe I should go with the one that's in, in here. I just have a feeling this is going to be the funny option. <laughs> hey, I see the strength. Thanks, Bob. Cool. Yeah, well, you better not drop any more pepper, especially since we're, we're apparently short on it.
so uh, yeah, if you guys in the comments know if there's any difference between whichever ingredient you choose, let me know. We're supposed to get three hot meals a day! What, you guys aren't getting three hots in a cot a day? Come on, man. We are slacking. Deliver flowers for you guys? Sure. Pretty posy. Well, they're in the castle, they're wearing green. Oh, and they've got red hair. Good luck. In the castle, wearing green. And they have red hair. That guy doesn't have red hair. Hopefully it's not a dude. Wait. You have red hair, but you got a pink costume, so it can't be you. You're wearing green and you have red hair. Wait, you want this old lady? Uh, hold on, man. Let's let's look for somebody else that's got red hair and a green dress. This guy's got a green tunic. Oh my gosh! Really? I didn't think the game would actually give me this option for real. <laughs> No! Oh man. You are a man, aren't you? Yeah. So I can hook this guy up with an old lady or a man. I don't know, both options are kind of bad, but I mean, the old lady is definitely slightly better. I mean, come on now. Wait, green dress, black hair, nah. Ooh. Here we go. Yeah, here we go. This is more like it, huh? Betsy, thanks. Oh, that's it, huh? Wait, I'm supposed to go to the throne room before I see Erwin? I don't get it. What do you want me to do now, dude?
What? Okay, I'm a little bit confused as to what's going on here. So I'm supposed to go to the throne room and like address the people? Or am I supposed to go with Erwin and wait for Erwin to do that? I, I don't understand what the game wants me to do. Wait, what? The blue orb is stolen? Oh. Expert lock picker. Yep, a professional thief who did it for the money. Wait, what? So what I recommend doing is lining up the suspects, telling them that it turns out the blue board isn't worth a thing, and taking a good hard look at their faces when you do so. <laughs> Once they hear they risk everything for a useless bauble that isn't worth a penny, the thief's face will turn to thunder. <laughs> yeah, that is a good strategy, actually. Just tell them it's worth nothing and they'll never be able to trade for shit and they'll probably get mad. Or wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. Let's 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 think of other things here. Well, if you remember anything about Sneeflheim, it was a master of disguise. Yeah, a mischievous monster that can change its form at will. Of course. Sprinkle holy water on their heads, yeah. Yeah, King Gustav. Oh yeah, that's the guy that ended up... Yeah, he's not alive anymore.
Uh, the next matter, sure. Route prevention and advice. The tone of the letter. Uh, let's go with unfailingly gracious. Or is it failingly? Never mind. Uh, yeah, let's think outside the box. I like that strategy. Yes. <clears throat> Whoa! What the hell is a bear doing in here? You want me to choose the champion in the making? Wait, you can? I thought I was just going to talk to him and size him up a little bit. It's a 97 pound weakling to represent their kingdom. Oh, well, I guess my luck finally ran out. <laughs> yes, it did, sir. And you, what the fuck? <laughs> you know what, man? I'm gonna choose the frickin' bear. Why not? Without a shred of mercy. Oh yeah, probably not. Nah, you probably want somebody who's a little bit more, shall we say, human.
Okay, so what the what the hell was the point of all that? Assuming that's every little optional Your thing Majesty, I can do, right? Lord I don't Robert, know. the new arrival is here. Oh, already? <laughs> Congratulations, Your Majesty. It's a beautiful, bouncing baby boy. A boy. Oh, he's a fine wee chappy. And what I said of lungs. We'd better hurry up and give him a name before he screams the place down. Hi. We were wondering what you thought about uh, Erdrick. Oh, it's beautiful. It sounds. Clever and brave and yes. <laughs> but I've rather set my heart on something else, you know? What do you think of this for me? Oh, uh well it, it it's nice, but it wouldn't exactly be my first choice. But if that's the name you've chosen, my love, then that's the name he shall have. Mighty Yggdrasil has blessed us with this beautiful boy. And from this day forth, he shall be known as... We <laughs> <laughs> have Rab sneeze for the name. That's funny. Sorry about that, Ralph. Never mind, Dad. Why don't you give your grandson a cuddle? Hello, everyone. I'm your grandpa. Yes, I am. Yes, I am. Oh. <laughs> <sighs> what, what the having fun? <sighs> How are you doing this? These places, these memories. They feel so real. <laughs> so yeah, they were going to name me Erdrich. 
which is kind of funny considering what happens at the very end of the game. Oh, Sonic Illuminator shit, okay. Now, what we got here? A diamond. And nothing. What is everybody? Wait, what? Oh, where did she go? How the hell is she doing all this crazy stuff? Come on, man. You know I, I gotta try to veer off the beaten path a little bit. What the fuck? Now you're making me go in circles? Wait a minute. Can I even go in this... Can I go in this room? Oh, nope. One huge so case. Then. <laughs> Happy birthday, Grandpa. The hell? Get away. It's it's you. <laughs> but it can't be. <laughs> well, well done, Ben. <laughs> Congratulations. <laughs> <laughs> Surprise! You didn't suspect a thing, did you? We all worked extra hard to keep it a secret. Happy birthday, Lord Robert. We've had Gondolia's finest patissiers working day and night on your cake here. I trust it will be to your taste. Many happy returns, Father. May you live a long and joyful life, watching your grandson grow into a fine young man. Oh, you... you, you shouldn't have. Congratulations, Your Highness. The people of Dundrasil are eternally grateful for all you've done to make this such a happy and peaceful place to live. Hear, hear! And we'll do everything we can to keep it happy and peaceful under King Arwen too. Oh, that's my boys. Aye, and a great big happy birthday to you from all the lads and lassies in the tavern, eh? <laughs> Don't forget to send word when you've a new addition or two to the royal collection of <clears throat> gentlemen's periodicals, will you, big man? <laughs> Gentlemen, periodicals. My people. Nice. Oh, how I love them. You're not crying, are you, Grandpa? Is something the matter? Yeah, this isn't supposed to happen here. Everything's perfect. Just perfect. And that's the problem, isn't it? Everything's perfect. Almost like it shouldn't be this way. 
what it is. <laughs> Somebody can't hold his liquor. Oh wait, that's the guy I picked. You didn't come back with a trophy? Oh man, that stinks. So I wonder, does it even matter which one you choose? The Snow Girls Showgirls? Why, yes! Oh, yeah, I think Rab is getting a frosty puff. I think I'm going to make this one just slightly longer than previous videos. I don't, I don't know how long this is going to go, but I'm having so much fun that I might as well just keep recording here, eh? A new dance craze? Swimsuit sales went through the roof, huh? No wonder. So they use like dancers to like blow icy breath on people to cool them off? That's really weird. I mean, when I was saying think outside the box, that's not really what I had in mind, but hey, if it works, whatever. I mean, I guess it technically is outside the box, considering that I didn't think of it. I don't know who would think of it, to be honest. Has extraordinarily moisturizing effects. Oh, that's good. Or maybe I can just end the video right here because they're giving me a priest. That's all for this episode of Dragon Quest XI. Next episode, I'll finish up Rab's little story here, and uh, then we'll move on.
I really have no idea how long this is going to take, so as long as I have a priest right here, I might as well just take advantage of it. See you next time. Bye-bye.